All right, so we're gonna be looking at the Maddox rod test. This is called the Maddox rod or subjective Maddox rod. Um, the reason why it's subjective is we're shining a light at a person and they get to decide what they're seeing. Now, normal for this test, we're gonna put one filter up and typically I start with what we look at as um, a horizontal light. Can you see that? Yeah, look with both eyes. Is the light source and the line touching? Yes. Okay. So what you should have seen there is a red line that's horizontal. So one eye is picking that up. This filter is breaking up the light through these cylinders, through this red filter, and that's going to create this line going across. When that happens, one eye is taking the line in and the other is taking um, the, just the straight light source. And we're looking to see if both eyes are bringing them together. Okay? So we typically shine the light, okay, and then we do the horizontal line hopefully touching. This is to check for a vertical deviation. And then we switch the, the Maddox rod to create a vertical line. And do you see the light source yeah. and the line? Are they touching? Yes. Okay, good. So that would be a normal test. Now for myself, when I did this test, and I have ocular muscle trigger points on one side, I can feel the tension. Uh, the line is off, so we're looking, is the line off to the right, is it off to the left? That gives an indication of how your eyes are potentially being pulled apart. So uh, from a convergence perspective, if when we're testing convergence, we see one eye not working well with the other, Typically, when we see a convergence issue, that's when we see that there is a, uh, an abnormal Maddox rod. Most commonly, a horizontal deviation. Um, less commonly, a vertical deviation. So your eyes are quite off if there's a horizontal and vertical deviation. That tells us that one or both eyes are being pulled and tugged. From there, we check the ocular muscles for trigger points to see if there's any pain around the muscles, and then Based on that, we can also test the ocular nerves to see if there's any entrapment. So that's kind of the chain of events.